What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here tonight with the review for Growing Up Hip Hop. I was about to say Atlanta. This is just Growing Up Hip Hop LA. Season 6 episode 4 I believe this is and it's titled Loyalty is Daddy you guys. Alright you guys before we get into this re <coughs> review if you guys are not subscribed to the channel and you guys are watching this video or any other video on the channel why are we still going out on a date? Why are you not paying for it? Do me that favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop anything else and share this video. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the video, you guys. All right, you guys. So this episode, we open up the episode. We see Jojo, Angela, and Cree. They're meeting up at the location where Cree is going to be hosting this party for Jojo and Tanisha's anniversary. When I saw the venue, I was like, oh, is this it? I'm like, I hope we you know, jazz this place up, spruce this place up, liven this piece up, because from what I'm seeing, I don't know what we're doing. Don't know. So then Jojo got a call from Tanise, so he stepped aside. So then Angela and Cree were having a conversation, and Cree and Angela were talking about um, Knotted Up Martin with the big ears, and um, who else were they talking about? Oh, the fact that, um, what's her name? Cree. Cree has a, a, a she, Cree is in a situation ship and Cree doesn't know how to let her guard down. Angela, however, has told Nada Up Martin with the big ears that she loves him. I'm like, oh, why would you do that? Okay. Um, oh, so I did skip something. Jojo. So Jojo was telling um, Cree that after this dinner, you know, that he's the surprise dinner that he's doing for Tanise, he wants them to do a showcase. Then he suggested that Egypt perform without Samantha. I was like, oh, why? I don't want to hear either one of them perform, to be quite honest with you. I don't want to hear Samantha nor Egypt perform, but go off. But yeah, go off. So then we move over to um, Savannah. So Savannah's at her crib and Twist comes over. So Twist tells Savannah that Brianna's coming over. So, you know, Brianna gets there, she meets her and Actually, before that, they were talking about um, Boogie. So she told um, Twist that she's going out on a date with Boogie, and it's going to be a double date with Sam in Egypt. He told her that they're trying to bring her into that triangle and make it a square. Oh, God, that was hilarious. And even when she told it to um, Brianna, Brianna was like, eh, yeah. So we also find out that Savannah is working on music and clothing. Okay. Is that where you get your money from? I, probably, I would guarantee it's not, but all right, I'll bite. But let's move on. All right, you guys, so there are going to be two scenes in this review where I'm going to be like, uh, and here's the first one. Uh, Sandy and Egypt. Uh, God. So Egypt is talking to Sandy about this double date that she's going on with Boogie and Vanna. The child, I don't know why. I'm going to say that the producers put this shit together because who? Ugh. Actually, let's stop right here real quick, real quick, real quick before we even get any further. So I went to go pick up my car today because my car has been in the shop for the last few days because my belt on my car had came up. My belt had come a loose, you know, in the car, the belt had come a loose, and it was making my battery die, so I had to get a new belt and a new battery in my car. Damn it, I should have sent that shit to Pet Boys, because there is a warranty under that belt. There was a warranty under that battery. And I just spent $500 on that. Okay, it is what it is. It'll come back to me in the long run. Um, But yeah, so as I was going to get my car, I was on Instagram and OMFG Reality, I think they posted a picture of Egypt. So I was like, hmm, that's right, Growing Up Hip Hop comes on tonight. So 
my ass said, let's go over to Sam's Instagram. Big mistake. Ugh. I saw him in that thong. I was like, oh God, this is just repulsing. This is just repulsive to me. It's, 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 the th it's just the sight of Sam. And uh, um, it's just the sight of Sam doing it that repulses me. So then he has his link tree um, in his bio. So I'm like, hmm, let's see what's in Sam's link tree. Clicked on the link tree and there was at OnlyFans. And then I clicked on that to see how, just to see how much it was. Whoever out there is spending $15 on Sam's OnlyFans, I will slap, just let me know so I can kindly slap the shit out of you. The fuck y'all spending $15 for Sam for? Like, I'll give you guys my OnlyFans and you guys can go subscribe to that. At least you would get some, you would, I mean, y'all like me. I've never saw me hit naked, but y'all like me on the on the channel. I'll give you guys my OnlyFans link if you wanted it. Don't ask for it, cause I actually do have one. Don't ask for it, cause I'm not putting it on. I'm not putting that information out. But um, yeah. Why? Uh, uh, Sam. So then they. So then, um, Sandy and TT. I mean, not Sandy and TT. Sandy and and um, Egypt. They start discussing TT. And her alleged, we're going to say alleged, because I don't know that this is true tea. I don't know that this is true tea from coming from Sandy, that crackhead looking auntie, Don, and Egypt. So Sandy wants to say that this business, this was already out there, and she just didn't want to throw it in, in um, TT's face. I'm like, what? You're doing it now, you dumbass. Like, you're putting her, you're, you're throwing it in her face now by putting it on television so that the world can see it. Like, oh, with a, with a person, with somebody like Sandy as your auntie, you don't even need a fucking enemy. So then Egypt, once again, is talking about the fact that, you know, I, when me and Sam got engaged, I told TT that I wanted to get married in Jamaica and now she wants to get married in Jamaica. Girl, how much sense does that make? So just because you want to get married in Jamaica, nobody else can get married in Jamaica. Is that what you're trying to say? Unless TT has the same exact date, same the date, save the date that you have, save the time that you have, then that would be an issue in the same location. That might be an issue. That might be an issue. But if she didn't, shut up. You sound stupid. So then we see Vanessa. So Vanessa is with Tanise and they're looking at some clothes. Is that she said I think it's for um what is the name of their clothes? I I remember it from back in the day, but I can't remember it. Pastry, that was it. So I think this is for pastry. So we see Tanise, and then Angela shows up with Cree, and then Brianna's there. So they talk about relationships, and I'm just, when it comes to Angela, I don't understand Angela whatsoever. And then the way she was talking, because Vanessa pulled her to the side so that they could have a conversation. And she was, I mean, the way you treat me, this is your sister. Your sister. Like, you are very dismissive. Everything she talks about, you are dismissive. And then when you make she, you make faces, she's like, what's that face? I didn't make a face. I didn't do this. As if the girl can't see. Child, I would have to tell Angela to kiss my ass. I literally have to tell Angela to kiss my ass. Period. Point. Blizzing. Let's move on. All right, you guys. So then we see Savannah. So Savannah is getting ready for her date with Boogie. And then Stevie Jr. calls her. So she tells Stevie Jr. that she's getting ready to go on a date with Boogie. And then somehow Google came up. So Savannah decided to Google Boogie. So when she Googled Boogie, a domestic violence case came up where he got into an altercation with a young lady over sex. Very interesting. So she was like, you know what? With me going on this date with him, I'm not a punk. I'm going to actually ask him, so you out here beating bitches up? Her words, not mine. So then, here's the other scene that was like a no-go for me. And I actually tweeted this. I don't care about this scene. And I got quote retweeted by tweet with the crying laughing emoji. God, I didn't care about this scene whatsoever. It's Egypt. It's Sam. And it's Boogie and Savannah on this double date. They're cooking. 
Oh my God, I really could have done without this scene. I could really do without talking about this scene, to be quite honest with you guys. But no, 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 we're going to talk about it because Sam said something that really got on my nerves. Sam really pissed me off in this scene. Actually, it was Sam and Egypt in this scene. Egypt sounds like a dumbass kid. Like, Egypt literally sounds so stupid to me right about now. Um... So Egypt is still talking about the fact of TT having her wedding in Jamaica. Once again, just because TT is having her wedding in Jamaica, how does that stop you from having your your dream wedding in Jamaica? Explain it to me, little girl. How does that stop you? Oh, that's right. It doesn't stop you, does it? No, not at all. So then, Sam. Sam, you tried it in this episode. You tried it in this scene. First time you tried it was when you were talking about let's do a, let's do this for OnlyFans. Absolutely not. Nobody wants to see that bullshit. Pass. Then you tried it when you were talking about, you know, Egypt. She's the daughter of Tretch and, and Sandy. I'm not calling her. You know, I love Salt and Pepper up until the movie and then really with Pepper with this show. Girl, go find some friends your own age. So, he like, she's a daughter of Tretch and she's the daughter of um pepper who is tt what is her legacy what is her claim to whatever who the fuck is sam who the fuck is sam that's all i want to know who the fuck is sam who is sam what has sam done not a motherfucking thing but get with a dumbass you little girl that's all you've done you managed to piggy you know i still don't understand when it comes to sam what the f it's the whole entire family. For me, it's the family. I could see it if it was just Egypt, but it's that dumbass Sandy and then it's Tretch. Child, is he dicking every one of them down? Like seriously. Is he if is he is he having sex with the whole family? I'm not being funny, I'm asking a, a, a genuine question. What the hell is Sam doing? Is he having sex with Egypt and and Sandy and then slobbing down Tretch? Like, somebody explain that shit to me. Why do they defend him so much? What is it? What is it? He What is he doing? What is he doing? Is he having sex with you? Is he supplying you something? What the fuck is he doing? I, I, I'm just baffled by this shit. He's talking about who was TT, who is Sam? Who is Sam? A grifter, a con, a leech, a mooch. The list can go on. Who is Sam? Who in the is Sam? Explain that to me. Let's move on because I don't want to give Sam too much light. I, I can't give it to. I can't give Sam that much of my energy. I'm mm -hmm. all right, you guys. So this um, party that you know JoJo was having for Janice, that creep put on for him. It looks nice. Everyone comes dressed up, with the exception of Twist. Twist came as himself. I can't be mad at the homie for that. Then, you know, he lit a blunt. And Kree was like, um, you might want to put that blunt out. I don't think that JoJo wants that at his party. And then he dumped the ashes on the floor. She was like, yeah, you dumped the ashes on the floor. And Twist wasn't really seeing it for Kree. And Kree wasn't really seeing it for Twist. Cause they had a little bit of back and forth. At 11.40, a plane flies over. Okay. But yeah, they weren't really seeing it for each other. So then Angela shows up alone. I'm like, oh, where is Martin, you know, knotted up Martin with the big ears? Yeah, I'm really thinking that Angela was more into him than he was into Angela. I actually think he might have been using Angela for some clout. Just saying. Just saying. So then when JoJo and Tanisha show up, they say, you know, surprise. And then JoJo is talking to um, TT and, um, God damn, what's on? Eric, ain't that his name? But yeah, they, they were talking about when the <clears throat> when is the wedding and, um, yeah, they were talking about when the wedding was. She says that she's getting, she you know, she was talking about the destination wedding to Jamaica. When she was talking about that, I noticed that the cameraman um, panned over to Savannah and Savannah had this weird look on her face. I'm like, Savannah, that ain't got nothing to do with you. Mind your business. 
So then JoJo goes over and talks to um, Cree and Savannah was there. He was talking about the um, the showcase that he wants to, you know, the little showcase that he wants to do. And talking about Egypt performing once again. No. Absolutely not, JoJo. We don't care. And, I'm, you know, he asked TT how she thought about it. TT says, I have no thoughts on that one. Let me exit stage left. So then we saw Savannah and Brianna sitting, at, sitting together. Now, I know Savannah asked what was she drinking, and Brianna told her, you know what, I'm, I can't even be, I would have told her, mind your business, that ain't got nothing to do with you. So, so Boogie came over and sat down, and at this point, I was like, oh, Brianna's lit. Because she went, you know, she went off on Boogie. I'm not going to say sit here and be like she was wrong for what she said and did. I'm not. But the alcohol in her, I'm like, that may have intensified things. Because the, the conversation that she had with Boogie needed to be had. It's the conversation about him at the nail shop with Samantha and with Egypt. So it was a conversation that definitely needed to be had. But... I think maybe she should have had that conversation when she was just a little bit sober, I think. Cause things went I mean, things went from bad from bad to worse with that situation. But like I said, I'm not gonna fault her for the conversation because it is one that needed to be had. And Boogie needed to see where he was wrong. Like, just because you're quiet when they talking about me, that doesn't mean shit. Stop them from talking. If I'm your friend, if you love me, if you care about me, don't let them talk about me in your presence, period. So I got where Brianna was coming from, but I just wish it had been when she was a little bit more coherent. You guys let me know what you guys think about that. But that's the episode. Like this video, leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell button so you guys are aware of when I drop videos and share this video. Until the next one, stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, socially distance. And if you don't wear your mask, be safe in whatever you do and be blessed, you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.